mommy strong? Yes. Aloha everyone, it's Malika Dudley for my blog Life Swell and today I wanted to talk about Pure Bar and bar classes because I have reached my 100th class. I'm six and a half months postpartum. I had some complications with um, an intrathecal, which is the anesthesia that they give you when you give birth. And so I couldn't start working out immediately after giving birth. I also have um, physically induced asthma and I have sickle cell trait. And so both of those things um, mean that I can't do every type of workout. I have to really be careful. Asthma, as you know, constricts your airways. And so when my heart rate gets really high or I get out of breath, I have to really be aware of making sure I don't hit that point where it becomes an asthma attack. Um, and because I've lived with it my whole life, I'm really good at judging when I get up to that point, and so then I just take a break. Um, sickle cell trait is a little bit different. Um, pretty much I just need to make sure that I'm well hydrated. So um, if you're ever in bar class with me, <laughs> that's why I'm drinking, and that's why I, I, I'm breathing really hard, <laughs> and that's why I take a break usually before getting into the next um, segment because um, I just, I know my body, and so I know that I can't just, my mind wants to do it, but then if I do the entire class, I've never done an entire class the exact way that the teacher wants you to do it. I've always had to fall out or start a little late or modify or something. Um, and, you know, it's because I'm still working my way up to that, and um, in addition to that, I have to listen to my body. I've been taking photos of my progress from the beginning of bar, actually from about two weeks postpartum through when I started bar, eight, nine weeks postpartum until now, um, which I am six and a half months postpartum. So I thought I would show you my progression. Um, I just feel so strong and I felt stronger within seven days. They say, like they tell you that when you go into class, oh, you'll feel so much stronger after like four to seven classes and you kind of roll your eyes internally, you know? <laughs> but it was true. I have never felt stronger. And I've been active my whole life. I surf, I swim. I did martial arts for more than two decades. You know, fitness is no stranger to me. I've been doing it my whole life, but I've never felt stronger and in quicker amount of time with the least amount of, um, I don't want to say effort because it takes effort, but least amount of time commitment um, than with bar. I mean, like, like, look at my arms. Oh my gosh. I can't even believe it. <laughs> and my body type is such that when I work out, I lose weight up top and then my bottom half like I mean it's not big but it stays like bigger so my proportions are kind of off and then I always look like my ribs always are sticking out but with bar I found that I'm more balanced than I've ever been I feel um, my bar teacher always says get that hourglass figure thanks Rach <laughs> and I really truly feel like I'm getting that hourglass figure you know twist twist um, because I feel like my body um, is responding that way. And there are so many different body types and women in these bar classes, and that's what I just love about it, because you can do it to your own fitness level. It's really amazing and empowering to see all these women in class and um, suffering together. <laughs> so on my first day of class, I almost walked out. 10 minutes in, I could not lift my legs. You know how they go on the ground like this? And then, so they like lay back and you're supposed to put your legs at a 45 degree angle and it's almost like Pilates. Um, and you're supposed to like lower your legs and lift them. And I could not lift my legs. It was humbling and kind of scary for me too to think like, wow, I mean, I could do that prior to getting pregnant and I have no abs, none. They were just gone. I mean, I did give birth, <laughs> so it wasn't a big surprise that, you know, my body would have changed, but I didn't realize that I lost so much strength um, through the process of being pregnant and growing my child, um, you know, 
I, I did not work out through my pregnancy. I did yoga, but um, I didn't keep my strength. And so after 10 months of not doing anything to build strength, uh, it was a wake up call for sure. My body felt really, really weak. Um, in fact, I went tandem surfing probably like two weeks after I started bar. And that was a huge wake up call. I was trying to do a shoulder stand and I couldn't push with my arm enough to be able to step up onto my partner's shoulders and surf out the wave. And then of course that affected my confidence and, um, and we really didn't succeed in any of our lifts for the Buffalo Big Board Surfing Contest and I just felt like such a failure. Um, so, you know, it's a little hard because you have to go inward and what's great about bar is it really supports that journey when you go to class it's all in your mind like it's all mental it's these tiny little movements you'll hear you know up an inch down an inch um you know tuck you have to go inward and think about it from the inside out if that makes any sense but if they say like bring it into the muscle you're literally just focusing on that muscle and what I've learned with bar is you need to obey your teacher. So when they say something, if you can instantly kind of like record it and do what they tell you to do, then your technique is going to improve every single class. And so every class I felt like I got a little bit better, a little bit more of a connection with my mind and my body. And um, now I feel pretty confident, you know, when I hear, I always forget, you know, I mean, putting my shoulders down and relaxing my shoulders, bringing my chest out, making sure my hips are tucked under the entire time. And when you can achieve like the proper posture and form, and then really just focus on whatever muscle group um, you're working, it's amazing because you'll achieve that shake um, that they always talk about almost instantly. One of the things that's awesome about bar is they know exactly when to say your name and what to say. So, you know, if I'm about to fall out of an exercise, one of the teachers will say, hold on to that. You're stronger than you think. You can do it. Or they'll say, Malika, hold on to that. Just a few more seconds. And, um, you know, that always helps as well. One of, um, Actually, the owner of our bar studio, I did a breaking down the bar class where they take you through the technique of um, the entire class, which I would recommend to anyone. And um, she said, hey, if I gave you a million dollars, would you stay in it? And so every now and then when I'm, you know, about to fall out of something, I'll think, what if I was given a million dollars? And so I'll just stay in there. Um, the other thing I think about is that I have children running around at home. My husband is, you know, watching the kids. This 55 minutes is my time. It's my time and so I should make the most of it. So why would I not do give 150%? I need to give 150%, not just for myself, but for them to make it worthwhile that I'm away from my family for that 55 minutes. Um, so I think about that a lot too, you know, that, you know what, this is just one day, just five more seconds. I think I can handle it. In the beginning, um, I couldn't lift my legs. I couldn't do a full push up. Um, I couldn't stay in any of the exercises for the full amount of time. I always fell out and every single class I got a little bit stronger. And so um, I would also recommend that you find out the modifications prior to going to your first class because um, it's not about doing it to the same ability as everyone else. It's about doing your personal best. And so um, if you can do the modifications in the beginning, then and focus on making the connection more than, you know, trying to go all out and, you know, lift your legs to 45 degrees. Um, for example, you, uh, you would bend your knees instead of having them straight. And so, you know, little by little, I could see myself getting stronger and um, you just kind of know when you're ready to move on and do the exercise to um, your best ability. So for example, I had to do push-ups on my knees for, you know, probably a couple of months. And, and then all of a sudden I could do push-ups 
not on my knees, you know, full on push ups. Um, I'm still working on my tricep push ups. I still can't get down to the ground, but I'm looking forward to the day when I'll be able to get all the way down to the ground and all the way back up. Um, and that's something that's pretty cool with Pure Bar is that, you know, even though I've been going for, um, you know, four and a half months now, I don't feel like I've plateaued. In fact, the more connections I make, um, in my head with my mind and body connection, the um, more difficult the workout becomes and or the more challenging I can make it for myself, which has been really interesting. So in the beginning, even though I wasn't as strong and it was really hard, um, my technique wasn't as good. And so I didn't sweat like I do now. I didn't get my heart rate up like I do now. Now, I mean, after I do thighs, I am like verge of asthma attack. My heart rate is up here. I'm sweating profusely. And um, every single class that happens, every single one. And I don't cry in every class, but um, some days are better than others. And um, some days, you know, it's just, it takes all of me to stay in, for example, all of thighs or all of seat. And, um, and I literally cry, <laughs> tears running down my face. Um, and I love it when Chris, the bar owner says, regain your composure. I always feel like she's talking to me. <laughs> so I'm the one that's like, Ugh. I make noises. I'm breathing hard. I mean, it's embarrassing, but, um, in the end, you know, the end result is that I just feel so much healthier and so much stronger. And I'm so happy to be a good role model for my daughter, especially. I have a son and a daughter, but as my daughter grows older, I want her to look to me as an example of a healthy, fit mom, a healthy lifestyle, someone with a healthy body image um, that, you know, she can always feel comfortable in her own skin and comfortable with being who she is.